Hello, I'm Dale, and today I'm going to show you how to put together this budgie box. This one is my own design. At the end of the video, I'll show you why it's uh, designed like this and why it's a good idea to, to stick with a similar design. Um, but just today, we'll, we'll show you how I assemble it and how it works. So, stick with me. So, you'll need all your bits. So, you've got the front, the roof, the back, the bottom and you should have two sides plus a little step that goes under the door so you need some nails most of the nails I use are 20mm nails you also need some 25mm nails make sure you've got glue hopefully you've watched my video on why glue is important and a hammer so once you've got all the bits you just move some of them out of the way that you don't need yet so I'll start with the bottom and the back so that, the back will attach on there. So we're just going to put a couple of nails in there for now. So we're using the 20mm nails for this. With the bottom, just find which is the roughest side. So this is actually just structural ply. So you're gonna have some rough sides to it. So keep the rough side on the inside. Take your glue and glue along the top. Spread the glue out. Make sure you follow the instructions on the glue, um, but this one just says put it on one side, which has always worked for me. Okay, line that up there and nail that on. Okay. Now take the front, and the front will go on like that, so do the same as what we did for the back. Again, we're going to glue it, spread it out, and nail it. Now I've got the star of the box coming together. There's not much left to do now. So if all the measurements are correct, the side should fit on there. So we'll run some glue around. Spread the glue out. and put the first side on. The sides will pull the box into shape. As I a budget box, it doesn't have to be neat. We're not trying to win any awards with it. And the birds are going to chew it anyway. Alright, that side done, we can use the sides to pull it all level there. Put a couple in the bottom. Through the side there, into the bottom bit. Put 
turn over and we're going to put the other side on now. If you want to use smaller nails than the 20mm, you'd be fine to do that because the sides are only about 6mm. You can go a bit uh, smaller, but my hands aren't real small, so it's, so it's a better size nail for me to hold on to. As you can see the box is coming together nicely, so we're nearly finished, we just need to put the lid on. So the lid we do not glue it, because we need to open it. So it's going to slide in the top there. And then you take some 25mm nails. And at the back of the box, we're going to go in there. And these nails are going to work as a hinge. I like to use the longer ones make sure because sometimes the nails will come back out so with the longer ones you'll be able to see that before the lid falls off. As you can see the, there's a gap in there and I'll explain that at the end. Alright now if everything's going together correctly the lid should open. The last thing we need to do is just add a little piece of wood there, so that's just a, a bit of scrap. So we're going to attach that on there. A couple of nails in it to hold it. Again, glue. Just position it under the door. And there we have it, a finished bird box. So this one's ready for budgies, lovebirds, java finches and things like that. There's a lot of other birds will also use it. Um, now I'll just explain why it's designed like this. The main one is the sizes give us, uh, you can cut a lot of boxes out of to a few sheets of ply without wasting too much. You just get a few small bits left over. The lid there opens up so you can get access to see what's inside the box. That gap there is so when the lid opens it doesn't hook on the back. As you can see it just touches as it opens. It doesn't matter that there's a gap there. A bit of airflow is fine. This here the bird will come up and land on there and grab hold and then go in. If you've got a perch that sticks out, other birds could just be flying along, land on there, the hen comes off the nest to chase them away and the eggs will get cold, so it's best just to have something like that, so the bird that's coming up here is going into the box. As for inside the box, I normally just throw a couple of handfuls of sawdust in, which gives it, uh, stops any eggs and things from rolling to the sides. If you've got budgies, lovebirds will, and finches and things like that will actually build a nest inside there anyway. There's no need for a ladder on the inside because the birds will be able to get out, it's not that far from the, the bottom of the box to the entrance. But the best thing about this with budgies is the young ones will not come out too early. By the time they they can get out of this box, they're ready to fly. So when they leave, they're going to fly instead of just jumping onto the ground. So you'll see a lot of boxes if they're sort of low to the bottom of the box, the young ones get out way too early and you've got them running around the ground which can be dangerous. So it's best to have a bit deeper box make sure the birds stay in there until they're ready to leave. Some people like to use a concave in the bottom of the budgie box because the budgies do throw out a lot of material when you put the nesting material in. So in the next video I'll show you my design on a concave but I've never used a concave in my budgie boxes. I find the sawdust in there keeps the eggs from rolling to the outside and as long as the bottom of the box is rough you'll have no problems with the young ones. Make sure you give the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment and if you do go and make one of these boxes make sure you share a 
photo with me or a video, I'd love to see uh, the one you've come up with. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.